Streams are home to some amazing wild animals, many of which only spend part of their lives in the water. I'm joined today by Evan and Harrison of the Wildlife Brothers as we search for the wonderful and weird creatures that live under rocks along this stream. When we think about life in a stream, we're probably thinking mostly about things like fish, animals that live their entire life in the water, fully aquatic. But some of the weirdest and some of the coolest life in and around a stream actually spends a lot of their time outside of the stream. And that today is what we're gonna be looking for. So we are gonna go through this kind of rocky stream border area and see what kind of weird and interesting creatures live under rocks along a stream. Space under rocks can be a critical microhabitat for many small animals. Wild creatures use rocks as shelter and for regulating their temperature or moisture levels, and few small creatures rely more heavily on these rocks than amphibians. Juvenile green frogs find a welcome retreat under rocks along the stream while finishing their metamorphosis from tadpole to frog, and adults spend much of their time under rocks on cooler days. During dry weather or in drying streams, Rocks or logs may be the last source of moisture in the entire area. We see the high-flying leopard frog and tiny cricket frog more often hopping among the rocks than hiding underneath them. But frogs aren't the only amphibians you might find hiding under rocks along a stream. This little two-line salamander actually doesn't have any lungs, so in order to breathe, she needs to keep her skin moist and stay near the water's edge, so oftentimes We'll find these guys right along the rocks here so they can keep their bodies moist and not dry out too quickly. With such abundant amphibian populations, streams like this also tend to draw in predators, like snakes. This garter snake isn't really an aquatic animal, but they do spend a lot of time hunting for frogs and toads along the rocky shores of streams like this. This northern water snake is semi-aquatic and feeds on almost any animal in the stream small enough to swallow, including fish and amphibians. Like this water snake, most snakes encountered in streams like this are non-venomous and completely harmless to humans. Baby water snakes themselves are preyed on by many stream-dwelling animals and use rocks as cover, especially from herons and other birds with keen eyesight. But here in Ohio and in surrounding states, another, much more specialized snake can be found under rocks like this. This queen snake is a species you can find under rocks for a variety of reasons. Out here in the water, they're gonna be under rocks looking for crayfish, which comprise almost the entirety of their diet. But up on the banks, they'll be spending time under rocks basking, actually getting some heat. Queen snakes are reliant on healthy crayfish populations because they eat almost entirely freshly molted crayfish. Though they're one of the few snakes to rely so heavily on invertebrate prey, the invertebrates found in and around streams like this are the most numerous and diverse animals present and are perhaps the most critical part of the food web here. Wolf spiders are common under these rocks and are both predator and prey to many species. Though large individuals like this may be what comes to mind when you hear the phrase wolf spider, most are incredibly small. Oftentimes, Wolf spider burrows will open up under a rock to give them extra protection. Though similar looking and sometimes found under the same rocks, fishing spiders are more adapted to actively hunting aquatic prey. They perch at the water's edge with their legs in the water to sense movement. Many insects spend their larval stage in streams and their more familiar flying adult stage out of streams and sometimes at our back porch lights. Some of these aquatic larvae must crawl onto land and hide under rocks to pupate including one of the largest and strangest insects in North America. All right, right underneath me is one of the weirdest creatures you're ever gonna find under rocks along streams like this. And this time of year, late in the year, is when you tend to see these come out of the water and go under rocks near the shore. So come down here and check this out. All right, this is the Helgramite. Helgramites are the aquatic larval form of the Dobson fly, a short-lived flying insect. They may remain in their larval stage for up to three years, at which point they'll crawl out of the water, seek cover under a rock, and begin pupation. These strange insects are just one of hundreds of species you might encounter while out at a local stream. 
So what are you waiting for? Get out and explore a stream near you. Just remember to be gentle and respectful of the animals you find, and always return rocks exactly the way you found them. These rocks are homes for the wildlife we've seen today, and moving them or leaving them turned over destroys the delicate balance of moisture and temperature that allows life to thrive underneath.